like that. Right, okay, it is day two, Costa Brava trip, and before I go any further, let me just show you a quick look around where I stayed last night. It was Hotel Clippers uh, and Villas, I think it's called. Nice setup, really nice room to be fair. And uh, this morning, as you can see from out on the balcony into the pool, I was waiting for the mist to clear, but it certainly has done. It's midday, I've just played nine holes at Golf de Pals. You see plenty of trees behind me and you'll see plenty of trees out there on the fairways as well. It's really tight, really picturesque, absolute belting golf course, to be honest with you. And I filmed a, uh, unusually for me, a bit of a nine hole course vlog, about a bit of a match with James Wilshire. Make sure you check out his channel uh, so you can have a little closer look around Golf de Pals. But for the time being, is a little bit of drone footage to give you an idea and a flavor of what this course is like up here at Costa Brava. So like I said, pretty tight as you can see, but in real top condition. Just had something to eat, a great atmosphere in and around the clubhouse, and I'm now off to a golf club called Emporda. I'm told it's absolutely fantastic. So, can't wait for that one. Let's switch the cameras, and I'll move over to Emporda, and hopefully get the drone up and a bit more footage from there. And I've come to this, what is the sixth hole. I've just had the range finder out. It's 260, 270 yards to the flag. That would mean all carry and there's a lot of water between me and that flag. I haven't got that kind of distance in me, as you well know, so it's going to be hybrid off the tee. It's a great setup for this Emporda Golf Club. It's um, a lot of heavily lined, tree lined fairways, although there's two courses actually. There's the Forest Course, which is what we're playing today, at least nine holes of, and there's a Lynx Course as well. And the Lynx Course is obviously, I've not seen it, but I think we can get from the name. It's probably a little bit different in style. Anyway, I'm going to switch the camera off. I've got a group right behind us, so it may well be that the next clip you see is me down there with the hybrid, just giving it a whack, and there won't be a great deal of talking. And uh, then, hopefully, fingers crossed, on dry ground, and uh, see if we can get something up onto the green. Right, I don't know whether you've seen from the tee whether you could work that out, but you could go right down the middle of the water and it was split and flanked by plenty of water either side, but that was the opportunity to get near the hole. I went down the left-hand side, which means that uh, can go with a longer club, but I've got a slightly longer second shot in. I've got wedge in and it's all downwind, so I've not got an exact yardage, so it's fingers crossed with this one a bit. Well, sitting down a little bit. Pulled it left. That could be a bunker. There's a bunker in the back end there. Oh, that's actually bounced out the bunker. And it'd probably be best if it stayed in there, to be honest with you. There's a better look at the hole from behind the green. You'll see where you can... That's the option to go down the middle there. And I went down on that side. And I might as well go down the middle because I've ended up in the heavy stuff out of that bunker. This will be interesting, facing back down to the water. Do you know what? I think I'll take that on the base that things could have been a lot worse. That water in front of me was frightening the living daylights out of me. I got put for a par, it's not great. 
Right, uphill putt for par. I don't know the stroke index, I'm afraid, so uh, let's assume that I'm not getting a shot and this needs to go in. It's gonna come off the right. Not that much, it isn't. Terrible effort, and uh, like I said, if I'm not getting a shot, then that's, uh, I'm afraid, a loss from one up to Emporda. Not the greatest of starts, but a decent golf hole, and uh, yeah, I was beaten, I'm afraid. Great is the tee shots, a ball is well and truly nestled down. It's uh, it's not great swinging right now. I need a decent ball to get me back in it somehow. Right, let's see if get this hybrid down there. Oh, that's not a good lie at all. Maybe this isn't a hybrid. That scab down the left, that was a horrible lie. It wasn't great at all, but it's, uh, I don't know, we're down there and uh, gonna need a couple of good shots to make a par from here. Right, M Porda is really well and truly on top at the minute. I'm gonna need to uh, pull something out of the bag here. I'm not sure I've got it, to be honest. It's 200 into the wind. I got the hybrid and realistically, I can't get there. Just need to avoid that uh, lot of bunkers down the right by the looks of it. If I can't get there, hopefully, uh, Somewhere safe where I can make an up and down. It's a decent strike, a little bit off the bottom, but it's right at them bunkers I was on about. Might be just short in between the two of them, so uh, I might still be able to make that up and down, but tough old shots these are, I tell you. So I got really lucky, it's come in between, a little bit of turf between the two bunkers and I've landed in it. So yeah, really fortunate, but the green is about from here. It's no more than sort of 10 strides in sort of width between over the bunker and uh, back over the other side. So, but it's a chance, one that I probably don't deserve. Tugged it left and sit down. The distance was okay, but I just uh, closed that club face off and it's gone a little bit left. But I've got, well, I've got a putt for a win, actually, which would be incredible to get a five after the way I played it. But it's also stroke one, and uh, so fingers crossed. Right, this would be a miraculous five. I don't think I've hit a decent shot yet. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm here, and uh, like I said, I've got two for, two for a half, one for the win. Tiny green in terms of width, no wonder it's stroke one. If you're coming in with, you need a fairly short uh, iron in your hand. Just straightforward golf, innit? You just scab a few down the fairway, chip and a putt. That's a win for the average golf. I'm just staring over to someone else who's uh, equally as surprised as I am that just went in. <laughs> right, okay, final of the challenge is a par five. It's a ninth year on the forest course. Wind's really picked up and it's right the way into us. It's playing about 540. It's stroke index three, and again, not played it before, so I don't know what lies over there. There's a huge bunker is all I can see. If you go on a straight line near the hole, and obviously it's guiding you, wanting you to go down that left-hand side for the furthest route. So, um, once again, the talking will end here. I'll tee it up in a bit because I've got a group literally waiting on the tee. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty pushed. As soon as they've moved, I'll hit off, and yeah, fingers crossed. Just, so the green is directly in front of the hotel you can see in the distance. Is that right, yeah? Yeah, it is, yeah. So we've got to go, so I think I'm going to take on towards the buggy. Yeah? yeah towards the buggy, just left of it. And, and then, then come back in. Start rescue. 
It's rescue, but it's a bit nestled, mate. Right, that's the plan anyway. It's a tough little, uh, it's a tough little hole, to be fair. That's a decent strike. That's about as good as I could have hit off that light, to be fair. I'm really pleased with that. So uh, I'm looking into both cameras here, recording on both, aren't we? So hopefully you're still recording anyway and you got that one. 113 into that wind is still coming at me. It's about as good as I could hope for in two. I'm pretty pleased, but could do with one decent shot to finish off this round at Emporda. I'm going to go, I'm playing 9 9. It's only 113, but I'm just going to hit a nice easy 9. That's the plan, at least, anyway. right hanging right has it got there uh it's safe that's about it. it was a little bit weak i laid off it just a little bit too much but to be honest with you i'm happy to be on dry ground and i've got uh two putts there for a win off the right hand side Swinging in now, it's got, has it got the legs? Go, 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 is that a gimme? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, either way, it's, uh, it's, it's a, it, it's a great, it's a great end to the round at uh, Emporda. I think uh, probably I got more than I deserved either way, because I played pretty damn poor, to be fair, and uh, scraped half decent results out of it, but decent track. Uh, tight off them tees and uh, I'm glad to get away. We'll call it a half eight. Eh?